Hey, how's everybody doing? This is uh, Utah Community Watch. I'm over here at the train tracks. Um, came over here to the headquarters of the UTA police. Sorry that yeah, there's like a plastic on the side. It's just that it's raining. I don't want my camera to get wet. So I'm still here at the inside the platform, the tracks. I just got off. Look both ways. Look both ways. Cross. <coughs> uh, it's raining over here, so I have a plastic rain cover for my camera. So again, the reason why I'm walking into the into the property is because they're coming to get a complaint form. Look at that illegal tent. What the hell, my illegal tent? So. See what I see. Is this place open or not? Nope. Seems like it's open. So close to me. What do you mean? You wanna, back, to you. you wanna back up a little bit? No. You're like right in front of me, like so close. Uh, anyways, so I'm here to um, get a complaint forms and um, also um, identify two officers that have failed to identify when we're asked to, when they're asked their name, that have failed to identify. And okay, so, so let, me, let me just let me just interrupt real quick. So we have a process for you to do that. And you have every right to do that. Okay. I believe you've already made a call in to Captain McGrath. I have not called no one. Okay. Well, you were transferred to him then. I have not called no one. You haven't called our dispatch center. Mm -hmm. I haven't called no one. Okay. Well, there's a process. That's not the information I've received. Whether that's correct or incorrect, beside the point at this point. Okay. You can set up an appointment with him and file your complaint for that. Okay, well, I need the complaint form. I want to take it because I'm taking it to my lawyer. Well, there's not a you know? there's there's not a complaint form. If you so want you, to write it, if you want to write it out, you can certainly do that. You can do it in a word document, put your name mm -hmm. on it, and sign it. So you guys have no complaint forms whatsoever. We take those in person. Wow. Hmm. Okay. So any anytime any, anybody needs to complain, they have to call a certain number to make an appointment to come and complain. Well, who would they complain to? That's what I want to know. I want to make a complaint for I want to complain so, for him. So, so several, several people on your behalf have called our dispatch and they've been transferred over to us. Okay, so what are you, you talking wanna, about? If you want to make a complaint with the police department, then you need to call the police department. I, I don't understand. Not public, what, not public relations. So this is not the police department for the this, UCA? This is the police department. Okay. 
Right. So who called or, or what, what are you talking about? We're, we're not, I just told you, several people have called on your behalf okay. to the police department through our dispatch center. On my behalf, who am I? <laughs> I don't know, but I, I know, know you had an encounter with one of our officers. Oh, so you know who I am? You know why I'm here? You had an encounter with one of our officers and you've put it on social media and everybody's kept me informed, yes. Okay. So do you want to identify what are the officers for me on camera? Since they did decide, one, well one officer did identify, but the other officer said it's not policy for him to identify himself when he, he interacts you, with someone. You have my card, so once you, once you want to come in and file a complaint and we investigate it, if it's deemed that they, you need to know who the, those officers are, we'll certainly provide that information. Oh, so you can, I just want to know, so in, in your we, policy, we, we have, in your policy, when an officer interacts with somebody, like you did, you introduce yourself, uh -huh. and when an officer out there in the street, like myself, I asked an officer, can you not get your name? He said no, because you're not giving me yours. Okay, is that policy? He should, but just because he didn't, it's not breaking the law. Uh, he said breaking the law, say breaking the policy. There is not a policy. So no, there's no policy. They, they should, yes, when asked, they should provide that. Yeah, because he said it wasn't on his policy, that's yeah. why. When they should, that's common courtesy. All right. All right, so, so call this number to make an appointment or something? Or? Uh huh. If you want to make an appointment, Captain McGrath will be back in on Monday and you can set an appointment with him. Okay. All right, sounds good. All right, sir, thank you so much. Have a great day. Okay, anything else we can do for uh, you? No, that's it. Okay. Thank you, sir. Have a All great right. day. Okay, just, just so you're aware, uh -huh. when you photograph stuff that's property of UTA, it can't be used for commercial use. If you want to do that, we can help you facilitate how to do that. I'm not using it for commercial use. If you want to do that, right? Yeah. If I want to do that, then I can come can in assist and assist you. And we can yeah. assist, we can assist you. Yeah, do but it. I'm not doing that. So okay. Yeah. yeah. Just just to keep that clear, I'm not doing anything for commercial. Okay. All right. What so, are you doing it for? Do you guys put all this stuff here so people can see it? Like, you know, if people come in, people can see it, how, you know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's the reason why I'm here. So people can see how the building looks, how nice it is inside and stuff oh, like that. Oh, so you're gonna put some formation for us, okay. Oh, not professional, no way. Just finding, just letting people know they could come in and look at, look at this beautiful stuff. Nothing to do with promotion or nothing to do with commercial whatsoever. Well, if it gets published, then it can be considered commercial. Say that again? I said if it gets published, it can be considered commercial. Huh. If there's a monetary gain from that, from anyone, that could be considered commercial. I'm trying to just educate you. Oh, okay. Maybe you should educate your officers. I do educate my officers. So you did see the video then? No, I haven't no. seen the video. No. All right. All right, sir. Well, you take care of yourself. There you go, folks. So they don't have a complaint form. So you have to um, call a number, set an appointment. You will attend. All right, so this is actually my second time um, coming in and file a complaint. Uh, the first time I did it was with the Salt Lake Police. Um, sadly, my camera did not um, 
you know, capture anything. Or it captured, but the the audio was off. So that's why I didn't put it up. Well, but I guess they're informed. I'm sorry, they're informed of what happened yet on Wednesday. <clears throat> and they know it's all over social media, I guess. So, hey, I'm sure they're going to educate their um, their officers now. So if anybody else comes out and records any UTA uh, facilities, they should not get harassed. 